Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have nothing on my face because I have just received my Shop Miss A parcel. I did a wee order the other month. <laughs> I ordered it nearly a month ago and I wanted to do a haul when it arrived. It just arrived in the mail so I'm going to do a haul and then I'm going to do a tutorial of using the products on my face. I don't have every single product for full face of makeup, I just ordered stuff that I wanted. So I'm going to give it a go, see how I like things and yeah. So first I'm going to apply some lip balm because my lips are dry as fuck. It's just Blistex 5 way lip protection. Feels nice, that's all that I know really makes my lips look kind of iridescent too which is weird anyway let's get started with this haul so this is the package I'm gonna show you my address because that would be weird so this is the package I can feel lots of bubble wrap all right let's open this bad boy so it comes in lots of bubble wrap wow so much bubble wrap and it comes with a little sticker with Shop Miss A on it. What does this say? We want to see you. Snap a pic of all the goodies you bought or show off your best makeup looks. Don't forget to hashtag Shop Miss A. So, I'll be doing that. So it comes in pink tissue paper, which I will keep because I am a nasty hoarder and I keep everything. Alright, let's get into this bad boy. So it comes with foam, foam wrapped around it all. First thing I see is eyelashes. I ordered a fair few, there's a couple I bought multiple, oh I love these ones, okay. So first up I bought some eyelashes, um, the first ones are from Cara Eyelashes, they are the style 702 and they look like this. Look how beautiful these are, oh my god. This style is one of my favourite kinds of eyelashes with the segments and the spiky bits. They look really long and dramatic, which I'm really excited about. So, and I got two. Got two pairs of those. Um, the next ones are also from Cara. These are the 523. Again, very dramatic. Really long. And I'm pretty sure I've had eyelashes that look basically the same as this before and I really like them. Again, I got two pairs. This box is a little bit munted so that's why I didn't show you that one. But I got two pairs of the Cara 523s. I also got three packs of the individual eyelashes. I got really long. I got the long ones and they're huge. Like, can you see how long these bastards are? These are from AOA Studio, which I think is the Shop Miss A brand. Um, but yeah, I've I bought some off AliExpress, kind of like this. Like this. Can you see? Um, so they're about the same number, maybe a little bit less of the uh, segments. But these are way longer than the ones I have, and they look really nice. So I'm excited to play with these again. But multiple, I got three pairs, three sets, because I have no chill and I love eyelashes. More eyelashes! Again, I have no chill. Um, these are AOA Studios again, and these are the um, style Olivia. They look like you. Really pretty, fluffy. These are going to look really quite dramatic when they're on the eyes, because they're quite, they're surprisingly dense. For, sorry, my music keeps going weird. Um, these are surprisingly dense for wispy set, but they will look really good on the eyes, and I'm probably going to use these when I do my tutorial. It'll be a toss up between the um, first ones I showed you. What's this? More! Another pair of the Olivia's makeup wipes. So I got some AOA Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes in the scent Citrus. I haven't had makeup wipes in a hot minute because they cost about $10 for a pack. If I'm lucky, on special, a 
if I don't catch them on special they're more like 15 20 dollars a pack and I can't afford that so got these for a dollar um, I'm curious to see what they're like 15 pretty nice and flat they don't smell like citrus they just smell like soap oh it's my little scrubby thing so I got a AOA Studio scrubby facial cleansing pad it's one of those things that you use to scrub in your facial cleanser at the end of the day to help remove makeup and get right in there and cleanse your face. I have the worst skin because it's hormonal and it's acne prone and it's oily and I wear makeup every day. So I got this to try out. I've had friends who've used them and I've really wanted to try them but it's gross to use someone else's so I didn't, obviously. Um, so I'm tempted to use this. I'm going to use it tonight, take off my makeup and see how it goes. But it's a silicone one, so it won't harbour bacteria. I remember. Um, I got an AOA Studio Wonder Jelly Gel Blending Sponge. So basically a silly sponge. I wanted to try it because I haven't tried the silly sponge. My sister tried one and said it was awesome, so I figured why not give it a go. Of course I got the glitter one. Can you see the glitters? <laughs> it's got glitter in it. <laughs> I like it. I want to try... I wanted to try the most fabulous one on the site, of course. So, jelly. Feels weird. So this is an outer packet. I don't know if you can even see the glitters. Oh, it's so cute. Very squishy. So hopefully, I am going to use this to apply my foundation and stuff. Oh, this feels weird. A compact of blush. It's got... So one thing I've noticed is they completely wrap all the compacts and your lipsticks and stuff so that they don't break in transit, which is really good. So I got this mineral blush from Sante. Look at that colour. It's huge. Look at this mask. It's massive. I was expecting it to be like half the size. It's huge. And the, unfortunately the compact is huge. Like it's really thick. But, oh it's sealed. That's good too. This is what it looks like. It's got a cute little flower pattern on it. Okay, swatchy swatch. Oh it's soft. And pigmented. Oh my god. Ooh. That's really pretty. It's really soft and it actually has pigment. It smells like old lady. <coughs> Again from Santé, Santé, I don't know. There's two E's and one's got a little foing above it. Um, this one is... This one is pink. Very pink. Look at it. It's like fluorescent. You can see there's a colour on there actually, it's actually colour. Um, I also got a Sante Mineral Compact Powder, um, just pressed face powder. It's the lightest shade there was, because I'm pale. Um, it's face powder, I'm not expecting high things to be honest. It's not going to be the best face powder in existence, but we will try it out. It's an e.l.f. lipstick. Um, this is shade flirtatious in the elf lipstick there's no other yeah there's no other explanation so let's open it and see what it swatches like plastic component feels very cheap it looks fluffy it's very sheer and I just broke it Jesus Christ this is it with quite a lot of build up. If I just do one swatch. See how it's quite sheer. So it looks like it'll be quite a buildable formula. I did fuck it up a bit because I had it show open. Whoops. Um, but you know, I'll give it a go. Oh, I didn't have high hopes because again it's a dollar, but we'll be alright. So next is another lipstick. This is from Clean Colour and the shade is Mocha Cream. The packaging is much nicer. It's way nicer. So this is like matte, shiny, and then a plastic tip. 
top. Ooh. Sit there. It's a brownie. It's brown, brownie red. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> it smells really nice. Oh yes, the contour and highlight sticks from LA Colors. So I got one of each. There's a hair on this that's mine though. So I'm a multi crazy person. I'm gonna grab the contour stick first. I really wanted to get this because I wanted to try cream contouring. So this is the contour stick. Yeah, I'll swatch it on my hand. It's quite orange, but it's actually not too bad. I'll be interested to see. I'll be really interested to see how it looks when it's, you know, and it's retractable, which is just handy. And the highlight stick, ooh, that's nice, can you see it, oh, I don't even know if you can see it, it's underneath, it's right here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely there, I can see it in person, there, here we go. Right, next up, I got two of the Clean Colour Two to Duet liquid eyeliners. One half is a liquid liner and one half is a pencil eyeliner. I used this on my channel for the first six months until it ran out. And I haven't bought a liquid liner since. And now I've got like five of them because I just needed liquid liner. So I got two of them because I did enjoy the formula so much. I do enjoy the applicator. The pencil line liner is pretty good. So I'm going to use these. Obviously I love them. I also got... Um, this one is from Amuse Cosmetics Liquid Liner. It feels like this. Very liquidy, which is good. I'm just going to do a little line. Ooh. It's a floppy whoppy. Okay, okay, that's not bad for one little stroke. Is it bleeding? No, it's not. The reviews on this one were not good. I'm not sure if it's because it doesn't last long or if it's too liquidy. Um, but, I mean, it looks good to me. So there's another liquid liner. I got a brown liquid eyeliner. Go get the plastic off so I can get into it. Here we go. Um, what's the brand on this? I don't know. It doesn't say. That's unhelpful. Um, so this is a brown liquid liner because I really want to take a play with coloured liners. This one is... Okay. It's alright. So this is it here. You can see it is very brown. It's more of a rich brown than I was anticipating. I was kind of expecting to get a dark, dark brown. You know, like, hard to tell between black and brown kind of brown. But that's really cool. And it's already dry. Very fast drying. That's good. Also got the same product but in black. Can you see there's a thingy, there's a hair off it? Yeah, I don't want that there, obviously. But the black liner, put the lid on, not bad, not bad. Right there, it's quite dark, like compared to the other one. The other one is also shiny. That's what people were complaining about, the Amuse one. It's shiny. That's why people were complaining. Okay. So, I've got a lot of liquid liners. I've got some very bright, scary blushes. Lots of eyelashes. And some application tools. So, yeah. That was my haul. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I wish I'd gotten some more face products. Like some highlights or some proper powder bronzers. I know they have contour kits. And actually, I've got a lot. I wish I got some eyeshadow as well to try out because I watched Shane XO's haul on Shop Massey 
and she got some eyeshadows and they were actually really good so I wish I'd got them but we can work with it <laughs> stay tuned for my next video which will be trying out these products I'm really excited about it actually to be honest see how some of these products work especially the cream contour and all that sort of thing really excited to try them out and my jelly sponge look at it it's so funny <laughs> stay tuned for the next video I hope you guys enjoyed my haul pretty small to be honest it was like 24 items or something and most of them were eyelashes so just you know you know me with my eyelashes I love them so yeah I will probably do another haul from them soon trying out some more things since it's legit and I really liked a lot of the products so yeah I really try, want to try out their matte lipsticks as well because they just came out with matte liquid lipsticks the AOA range I really want to try them because I'm a sucker for cheap liquid lipsticks to be honest my drawer is just full of them <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a little comment don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you are new all of my social media links will be down in the description as always as will the links to all of the music I play in the background of this video I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye